What's up, YouTube? Doug here. Uh, I got an ignition system here that I've been playing around with, uh, amongst other things. I, I got a ton of projects. Um, and, uh, let's see. Like for starters, I'm, I'm working on this ignition, and then I'm working on the. Uh, I'm building a, a Frank off to the side, and then I got a couple other projects that I'm working on. That hopefully it makes it out there mainstream here eventually. Um, I guess that all depends on me and uh, how, how fast I get this shit done because I, I, I've got a lot of projects and I got other stuff that I do during the day and it's like whenever I come in the house and I I sit down and I, I I just grab whatever motors laying in front of me with whatever setup it's got on it that I'm experimenting with. So this one here, um, this is a, a, a high voltage plasma ignition. Um, I, I've seen all the other ignitions out there. None of them are even compared to this thing, but I, I just got to get this. I, I got to get everything set up the way I need it, and I, I got parts on order. So I got parts on order all the time, and it sucks. It sucks having to wait to get shit from China, and half the stuff that I look for, well, it's not half, but some of the stuff that I look for, especially what I need for this project and another one, it's pretty much straight to China. You can't even find this shit here in, in the mainland, whatever the hell. But So uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to give you this view here and show you that basically you got the regular engine laying there. And we're just sitting on the table and off to the side here, I'll let you see the, the stock, the stock magnet is on there. I got the magneto and everything out of there. It's just all hollowed up. What I plan on doing is like uh, two stroke stuffing. He made a, when he took his, when he made a CDI ignition for his motor, he did the, uh, the whole saw, made the plate out of aluminum and uh, put that on there. That's probably the same setup I'm going to have to go to. I, I just don't have the shit to do it right now. But once I get around to it, we'll figure it out. Uh, the, the piston's just laying on there. This, this is a block that I have ready to build a frank out of. So it doesn't have no studs in it. But the the uh, the piston doesn't have no rings on it. The jug's just laying there on top of the cylinder. But uh, check it out anyway. And uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, I would say, uh, all I got to do is get my trigger right, and I'm pretty sure I got everything else that I need. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody else has an ignition like that. I haven't seen one. Um, these aren't rare or nothing like that. Uh, basically what it is, is a, it's a DC ignition, and, uh. It's, it's pretty simple, actually. I, I have I have a unit that costs $600 that does the same thing, but it's made for a car. It's made to run eight cylinders, whatever you got, uh, up to 16,000 RPMs, max, or whatever. Uh, this thing here, it'll run max, whatever whatever you put to it, it'll do it. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of time uh, to, you know, trying to get this thing together and get the right parts and get something out the door because I, I've been sitting on a lot of ideas. I haven't put anything out there. Um, I haven't seen anybody else doing what I'm doing, so obviously, you know, with these motors, everybody does their own thing, but uh, I just want to get some products out there that, you know, that'll help people out as far as uh, horsepower, uh, if not that, just, you know, make a, a really good, reliable ignition system that's not like all the crap out there. I, I don't know, I would say if you guys paid probably $50 for, for one of those other, uh, those ignitions that come in a pill bottle, those things are junk. You're basically, you're paying for an extra CDI is all you're paying for because those things don't do shit anyway. Um, that's why the stock one works because it works. Um, nobody else has really done nothing else, you know, on the outside beyond that. Um, that's what I'm working on. So uh, I'd imagine probably in the next, hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll have something together that I plan to release if it works. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I'll just say that. So, uh, yeah, just stay tuned, guys. Ride safe. If you like, like it, subscribe, and share. Peace.